Russia has released expert findings showing that a chemical attack in Syria was apparently conducted by the rebels and not the regime. The assault in question killed dozens of people near the city of Aleppo back in March. The report comes as the U.S. strives to convince the world that Syria's opposition has no access to chemical weapons. RTC Group is off reports. This is a detailed 100-page long report which provides thorough analysis of the weapons which were used in that attack in Aleppo in mid-March. And first of all, it concludes that it was in fact a chemical attack. The weapons which were used were custom-made and were similar to the ones usually used by the al-Nusra, one of the most radical rebel groups with links to al-Qaeda fighting against President Assad's uh, regime. Uh, investigators also found traces of hexagon which was used to release the chemicals. That is not the way it's done uh, in in the military and also uh, they found traces of uh, the Zarin nerve gas which was produced not industrially but was homemade and found traces of another chemical which was used by Western uh, Western nations uh, in the times of the Second uh, World War so these are the main arguments presented in this report which do suggest that that attack in Aleppo the chemical attack was in fact conducted by Syrian rebels this is actually the second time that we're hearing about this report uh, Russia already uh, passed it over to the Secretary General of the United Nations back in July, but uh, neither then or now uh, we are actually hearing about it in international media. Basically, de facto, uh, this report is being ignored both by uh, world powers and international media. Unlike the three reports published just recently on uh, the uh, recent attack uh, near Damascus, they were presented by the intelligence services of the US, Britain and the UK and all three suggest that that was a chemical attack which was conducted by Syrian authorities. Uh, a lot of uh, media attention is currently being paid to these reports. Basically they are in international spotlight uh, even though uh, one of the key arguments in all three is that uh, well uh, they are based on interceptions of communications, satellite footage and open source reports which are actually YouTube videos and uh, information from other social networks the uh, how correct it is is uh, raising lots of questions and another argument shared by all three intelligence services uh, pointing that it was uh, the regime which uh, held that attack is that the rebels the Syrian rebels are simply incapable of dealing with chemical weapons something which is not uh, uh, proved it's not confirmed in the report presented by Russia. Well, we talked to the UN veteran and its former humanitarian coordinator for Iraq, Hans Christoph Graf von Spanak, who explained why Russia's findings are largely being ignored by the international community. You can ask that question on a range of other uh, reports that have been received, which uh, are not convenient uh, for those who are determined to carry out an attack. But we cannot avoid looking into this, and the media have a, 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 an obligation also to uh, shed light on this when there are rumors that uh, Saudis and Qataris have supplied chemicals. Is that true? I don't know. That the Israelis were involved in this. Let there be a broad-based uh, presentation. What I would say about is, is that the stalemate that prevails in the uh, UN Security Council, I say this because I'm a, a person who has 32 years worked in that organization. The stalemate has been created by the insistence of the P3, France, Britain and the United States, that the only answer to a crime whose origin we don't even know yet uh, must be military action. And in the U.S., Obama's push for a strike on Syria has passed the first hurdle after the Senate committee voted in favor of the resolution. The U.S. Secretary of State also pitched the case to the House of Representatives. One reason for an attack that Kerry cited was to prevent U.S. allies in the Gulf states from increasing their support to al-Qaeda cells within the Syrian opposition, which they might do in desperation to topple Assad. Defense analyst and author Ivan Elans.